What are the main benefits of nootropics? Do they really work? And should you really supplement them? Let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. Welcome to my channel where you can learn top secrets about nootropics. Subscribe below to start your journey. Nootropics can provide a whole range of benefits from short-term to long-term benefits. But before you start supplementing them, you should be aware of everything you can expect in the short-term and in the long-term. And today in this video, we're gonna talk about the main benefits. So in general, people take nootropics for two main reasons. One is to improve their productivity and their performance. And second one is to live a longer and healthier life. That's basically it. But can nootropics really do this? Can they really help us with performance and can they really help us live a longer and healthier life? Well, let's jump into the short-term benefits and see what nootropics can really do and which nootropics are the most effective ones. So when it comes to short-term benefits, what I have in mind are all the benefits that, that happen, you know, in a couple of minutes or hours after we take specific nootropics. And the first benefit that we can expect, and probably this is the biggest benefit, the main reason why most people take nootropics is an increased focus and attention. Nowadays, people really struggle with focus. We are constantly bombarded with millions of information and, you know, buzzes and so on. So people that can focus nowadays are really the ones that, that will be successful. So the question is, can nootropics help us with focus? And the answer to that is yes, of course they can help us. And that's why many people, and that's why I personally am such a big fan of nootropics. Now what nootropics can actually do is they can increase our focus. They can help us stay focused for a longer period. And they can also help us with, you know, focus when we do multitasking, when we have to jump from one task to another and then back and so forth. <laughs> Um, they can they can help us with that as well. What also happens if you take specific nootropics stacks is you can get in this hyper focus flow, you know, in which you can work for hours and hours. You don't really realize what's happening around you. Now, it's not that easy to get in this hyper focus flow and nootropics can only help you do that. They're not the only reason why you're gonna do that, but they can do it and you know, it's really great when you can stay in this hyper focus flow every single day, every single morning for a couple of hours. You can do so much. So which are the most effective nootropics for improving your focus and attention? Obviously caffeine and L-theanine. Some people wonder if caffeine is really a great nootropic or you know if it should be labeled as a nootropic. And in my opinion, yes, it should be because it provides a whole range of benefits. It's, it's really, you know, it really works well. It goes well with, with other nootropics like L-theanine, for example, and a whole range of others. Um, and it's, you know, I really, really love it. Now, it's not a typical nootropic, but, you know, I always mention it. If you have issues with caffeine, you can, you know, feel free to avoid it. That's not a big deal at all. So another nootropic that I recommend for focus and attention is Rhodiola rosea and, of course, L-tyrosine, which is an amino acid. Now, one important notice here, guys. Nootropics can be very effective as individual compounds, but they're more effective is if you take them in stacks. So if you combine different nootropics together. So, you know, at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you uh, different links. You're gonna find different information where you can get the best nootropic stacks on the market. Another benefit that we can expect from nootropics is productivity. So can nootropics really increase our productivity? Of course they can, and they can do two things. First of all, they can help us uh, when we do short periods of intense work. And secondly, they can help us, you know, with the long periods of productive work. What does this mean? You know, every single time we have to, you know, stay focused and stay productive for a short period of time, the tropics can help us with that. And secondly, you know, when, you know, it, it's even more important to, to stay consistent, to stay productive every single day, day after day, week after week, month after month. Um, it's even, that's even more important and you know nootropics can help with that as well. Which are the most effective nootropics for increasing your productivity? Obviously check all the nootropics that help with focus and with attention and secondly all nootropics that we're gonna mention in the second part of this video can help as well. The third benefit that we can expect from nootropics is an improved memory. When I started personally taking the tropics, uh, that was the main reason I had, you know, severe issues with short term memory, with, you know, with the working memory, you know, I, I just, you know, it was just so bad that I didn't know what to do. And then, you know, I started reading about the tropics and I said, well, maybe the tropics can help. And, you know, of course they can. There's a lot of studies that can show that the tropics can help with short term memory. They can help with long term memory. 
and they can even help with memory impairments. Of course, there is still a lack of research of how effective certain tropics really are, especially for young, healthy people, but you know, current studies are very positive, show a lot of potential here. So, you know, I think with the next couple of years of research, more will be known. So which are the most effective nootropics for improving your memory? Actually, I, I prepared a whole uh, blog about this one. You can read be below, but to give you a couple of hints, alpha GPC, all choline sources, Bacopa again, and so on. But you know, check it out below at the end of this video, you're gonna find additional resources where you can find the most effective nootropics and the best nootropics for improving your memory. The next benefit, motivation, mood, and well-being. Can nootropics increase our motivation? Can can they make us feel better, you know, can they help us to get in the better mood? Obviously, yes. Now, of course, if you think about caffeine, I mean, caffeine as a, as a stimulant can do this by itself, but you know, this is, as I said, it's not a typical tropic, so I'm gonna mention it, but you know, let's find out what our nootropics can do. So nootropics can actually improve our motivation or increase our motivation and they can improve our mood directly by increasing neurotransmitters uh, such as dopamine and serotonin. They can do it indirectly by, you know, increasing our focus and our productivity, which usually ends up in, you know, finishing more tasks and feeling better. And they can also do it in a third way, which is quite interesting because adaptogenic herbs, which we're going to talk about, they can improve our mood by uh, making us more relaxed, by decreasing our stress levels and our anxiety. And you know, those are the three ways that the tropics can improve our mood, our well-being and our motivation. Which are the most effective nootropics for that? Obviously, again, Bacopa monieri, Rhodiola rosea, lion's mane mushroom, a very good nootropic, ashwagandha, and again, L-theanine combined with caffeine or without caffeine. Another benefit, energy. Can nootropics lift our energy? Can, you know, can they make us feel more energized or not? Well, I guess you're well aware of caffeine effects, but can nootropics do anything else to improve our energy? And of course, the answer to that is yes, they can. Actually, there are quite many things that tropics can do to improve our energy. So one thing they can do is they can increase the delivery of oxygen to our brain. They can optimize mitochondrial ATP energy output. Now, ATP is a complex organic chemical that provides energy in uh, living cells. They can also enhance subjective feelings of being energized and they can increase our energy by basically strengthening our resilience to stress. So yeah, you can see there are quite many ways how nootropics can increase our energy. But which are the most effective ones? Again, Rhodiola rosea, Ceticoline. By the way, guys, you're gonna find all the links below, so don't worry about them. Then we have PQQ, um, which is usually combined with Coenzyme Q10, a very effective nootropic for increasing our energy. We shouldn't forget on uh, our lipoic acid. There's vitamin B12 that can help as well, indirectly, of course. And um, of course, caffeine. Cool, let's continue with the next benefit, sleep. Can nootropics help with sleep? Obviously, the answer to that is yes, and tropics can help with sleep, and they can do this in different ways. First of all, they can, you know, make us more relaxed in the afternoon, late afternoon, or, or basically evening just before going to bed. Secondly, they can help us fall asleep faster, which is very important. And thirdly, they can, you know, uh, basically ensure a higher quality sleep. Now, if you want to check the best sleep nootropics, I provide the link below. Just check it out, and you're gonna find all of them. Stress, chemotropics help with stress as well. Now we know that nowadays millions of people are dying because of stress and you know, it's become such a big issue because we're constantly, um, you know, feeling or we are constantly stressed. We are in the stressful situations every single day, all the time, basically bombarded with millions of information and tasks and activities and so on and so on. So it can be quite hard for us, especially for our brain nowadays. And the issue with stress is that, you know, that it can um, influence our cognitive performance. It can, you know, um, decrease our sleep quality or, you know, actually can influence our sleep in general. And of course it can decrease our energy level. So it's so important to have stress under control. So how can the tropics help? Well, first of all, they can make our brain and body more resistant to stress. They can promote feelings of relaxation and they can replenish uh, stress depleted chemicals. So now I guess you're wondering which are the most effective nootropics for stress. Obviously, L-tyrosine and uh, L-theanine as amino acids, and then we have Bacopa, Moniari, and Rhodiola Reset. Those are the most effective ones. Of course, there are others as well, 
especially in Tropic stacks, can be very effective, but we're gonna talk about them a bit later. And last but not least, creativity. Can nootropics help with creativity? Now, this is a, I would say, a shaky benefit because it's difficult to measure creativity. It's difficult to say how creative someone really is, but I'm gonna talk based on my experience. So I believe that, you know, nootropics cannot directly increase our creativity. As I said, it's also, if this is possible or this would be possible, it will be hard to measure. So yeah, I don't believe that's possible, but what I believe that can happen is nootropics can, you know, indirectly increase our creativity because what they do is basically they increase our cognitive performance or they improve our cognitive performance they help us get in this hyper focus flow and during this hyper focus flow i mean we are really concentrated on one specific task or you know a group of small tasks that we, we are working on and as a result of that we we kind of uh, you know delete all other stuff that's happening around us and you know by being able to concentrate for a longer periods of time on specific tasks i believe based on my experience you know we become more creative it's really very obvious and a lot of people that i know that are taking the tropics they report the same thing so when it comes to entropics, this is my personal feeling. This is my subjective experience. It has nothing to do with science here. But based on my you know, experience, I think that entropics can improve our creativity as a result of all our activities that they do and as a result of our benefits that they bring. Cool, we just covered the short-term benefits of taking entropics, but what about the long-term benefits? So based on my personal opinion, the main reason why people should take nootropics are the long-term benefits. Of course, we don't know that much about the long-term benefits, especially not for nootropic stacks, because we don't know, you know, what really happens in the long term if we combine different nootropics. But you know, when you look at individual compounds, individual nootropics, there's so many benefits that they bring in the long term. It's just unbelievable. So obviously, the first benefit I want to talk about is anti-aging. Can nootropics really help with anti-aging? Yes, current studies show yes, they can do this in many different ways. First of all, they can slow down the cognitive decline, they can help with cell regrowth and uh, repairing cells, and they can be active anti-aging agents. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, as I said before, it's too early to measure the exact anti-aging effects of taking the tropics, so, you know, we cannot say if you take the X amount of supplement, um, you know, why, um, that's what's gonna happen. But there are certain nootropics such as coenzyme Q10, PQQ, resveratrol, curcumin, or you know turmeric, DHA, that have proven effects that we just mentioned. And you know, since they can do so many things in terms of you know decreasing our cognitive decline, repairing cells, and so on, you know, they can consequent as a result, they can help us live longer, live a healthier life, and they should be considered to be effective anti-aging nootropics. Now, how effective? That's what we're gonna figure out in the next years with more studies being done. Another long-term benefit is the neuroregeneration and brain health. Obviously, nootropics can help with neuroregeneration. We just mentioned that they can help with uh, repairing our cells and you know, with the cell regrowth. And you know, that's very, very important for our brain health. But that's not the only thing they can do. They can also promote NGF, NGF stands for neural growth factor and also BDNF. And this is a brain derived neurotropic factor. They provide a lot of antioxidants for, you know, basically destroying free radicals. And they can also provide brain building materials such as choline, for example. So besides all the previously mentioned tropics, um, you know, alpha GPC or our kind of choline sources are very effective for neuroregeneration Lansman mushroom, that's a very important tropics to consider. And another one, maritime pine bark extract, another great nootropic for neuroregeneration. Since we talked about antioxidants, another benefit, another long-term benefit that we can expect from taking tropics is neuroprotection. So basically, nootropics can protect our brain cells for all kind of different damages, toxins, you know, free radicals, and so on. And actually, all previously mentioned tropics are effective for neuroprotection. And last but not least, long-term cognition. Obviously, if you know, nootropics can help with cognitive decline, or against cognitive decline, if they can slow it down, this means your cognition improves, not just in the short term, but also in the long term. 
and this is one of the main reasons why a bit older people take nootropics because nootropics can help them be more, um, you know, perform on a higher level, have better cognitive abilities in the long term. And that's, you know, very important. Actually, I believe personally, besides the short term benefits, I think that, you know, long term cognition is the main reason why I'm such a big fan of nootropics and why I take them on a daily basis. Cool guys, we covered a lot of benefits, a lot of short-term and long-term benefits. By the way, I have revealed seven secrets about nootropics that no one else will tell you about. To get my handbook, just check it out below and download it for free. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, you know, don't forget to follow Your Inception on Facebook and Instagram and I hope to see you soon.